and welcome to the Pirate King Plays Final Fantasy 16. Where last we left our hero, we uh, fought Odin on the ocean. Who he he split the sea with a single swipe, and uh, then we fought him under the ocean, <laughs> at least on the sea floor, and lost again. But froze our way to Ash after saving Jill. So uh, yeah, we're gonna be heading back to Ash. Once we get back to the main story, as you can see, Journey to the Shadow Coast over there. But we have a bunch of side quests to get to. And a bunch of these guys, too. Looks like we have some new ones. Pandemonium! Another S rank. Okay, so we have, what? One, two, three, four, five on here. A, A, S. I think this is actually the strongest in the, the strongest hunt, but we can at least handle the A's. We're going to want to go after the, uh, the S's sooner or later. But I know where you are. I know where they both are. We probably should have done these guys yesterday while we were in Rosaria, um, but I believe we'll be going to Del... No, we're, we're going to... Uh, Northreach next. Hold on. Oh, yeah, we have a missive as well. That first. How do you split the sea? Well, the missive. I'm not going to bother reading the Wall of Memories because we're probably going to get some more of those by the time all these side quests are over. Out of the way, and then the we'll head. Uh, I'll figure out where. Probably back to Rosaria to fight the Maglith brothers, and then to wherever else we need to go. Courage to fight from the end of the kingdom to come into. What happened in East Pool with the bearers and the guardians? Guardians has been a long time coming. I'm proud, and I'm proud I could finally, it could finally happen here in Rosaria. The Duchy of Old may be no more, but Archduke Elwyn's dream still burns in the hearts of many, and it's through victories such as these that the fire will spread. This is only the beginning, Clive, but a beginning it is. But a fine beginning it is. So, as you can see, we got a bunch of stuff. We got one thing up in Sambrek, and then a bunch in Dalmechia. So, before we go after the uh, the stuff in and Breck. We're going to fight. Yeah, that is. No, this is the one I want to go to because this is where the Maglev brothers are. Before I go, let's double check items. Yeah, be fine. Yeah, be fine. We'll, no, no, I, sh I should restock. Always want to start a boss fight. Still alive, are ya? Go on, then. It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. Is that all? We're good. We got, got a whole party here. I don't know why they're not following me like that. They can fight. Yeah, they are. Time to fight. Oh, I have the wrong one. There we go. It's over. Oh yeah, there's a flood in there. Why? Friends, 
crabs are. They're on the beach over here. There they are. Here. It's a bunch of big guys. Usually we get one of these guys at a time. So this is gonna be something. Maggoth Brothers. Right game. Lock onto the guy near me, thank you. Okay. Oh, I parried that one while fighting this guy. All right. Oh, or, or I did this. I guess the guy went down and I missed. Oh shit! Ha! <laughs> yeah, two of us up in the air with that. That's better. actually, but I'll take it. Okay, that was a parry and not... not what I thought it was gonna be. Oh. There we go. And... and that finished it. Hell yeah. And a level up. Very nice. Be two now. No more vengeance. No more war. Uh, sure. How do they fucking wield those things? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna grab this, and we're gonna go back to the hideaway. Restock on potions, see if that got us another point. Or, uh... It did. Okay. And of course, going back to the hideaway will fully heal us. And then we head off to Sambrak. First, then go and restock. Actually, I can restock when I get to Sambrak. We're going to be going to Northreach, so... Uh, that will... Put us right next to a shop. How may I help you today, Clive? 
fitting performance. Also, our renowned observatory can do that. Natalie reports an unexpected surplus in Domino's stores, and as a means of showing the town's gratitude for past assistance, has expressed her, dis her distinct wish with wish that one Lord Underhill partake in her good fortune. You earned this. I'm sorry, 2,500 ability points? Hell the fuck yeah. Best oh, of luck out there, is. Sid. I think it's something to get mad. Right, give me a moment. Oh, that's a lot of ability points. Holy crap. Oh, we could, uh, master or limit break. Which would just be four bars. We could master flames of rebirth. Oh, wait, no, we don't. We can't. We can't actually do that. Um, Master Mesmerize, I think I might do that, because I do like the idea of Mesmerize at least. And this has not been the best move. I can't find a place to use it. Then again, I don't. I can't really find a place to use this either. Well, it seems good, I want to time it right, and I can never do that. I very much will dodge instead of counter. This, on the other hand, might be able to use. Especially in big uh, fights with a lot of enemies. So we'll master this. We still have a lot to use, so let's see how we're going to use it. Um, oh. oh, actually, it's not using this. It's not going to let me use this. Oh, I don't have enough. You know what? I want to try something. Join the Vicon channel for stream notes. Okay. Rising flames you still want? I'm, I'm switching this back to flames of rebirth because that's the new. Um, gouge. Good, but we need that not with ba Bahamut. We, we need that with uh, uh, Garuda. Upheaval. Upheaval's not bad, of course. Not what I thought it would be. I mean, rhyme's an interesting concept. I feel like I wouldn't be able to use it effectively. Switch back to Garuda. Oh, I just switched back to Pile Drive. I guess it keeps whatever I had on there. Yeah, I feel like I can't use this correctly. It gives, it gives me a second dodge, and that doesn't feel right. But I do want to try using. Don't want to have gouge on there twice. Come on now. Right. I wanted to. I still need wind up. So very good with those, those stun or shattered enemies. Not shattered enemies. And for this, do I want impulse? Do I want. Those lighter enemies are good, too. This, at least, will attack enemies. Impulse. Which is also, yeah, we've mastered everything I had equipped.
we're gonna master limit break. And if I want to get anything else, I could get something like this. Man, it's it's hard to be motivated to upgrade things when you don't really care. Uh, and you're stuck with, you, you've already found a good a good build that you like to use. All right. Uh, I'm still gonna save. And now, a new thing here, a new mana here, and then another of these orbs over. Get under new management first. Make sure to get the orb before we leave. Even weirder science is going to get us uh, upgraded. You see anything you like? Item pouch. So instead of six and four, it's probably going to be eight and five. I do like a customer who knows what he wants. Reach. The Dominion's all but done for. Was that shouting I heard from the barracks? And you're just gonna fall into line. I don't trust this duke. Oh? New duke? Oh, Clive. What am I to do? My wards and I may soon be without a home. What's happened? The High Cardinal has descended from his lofty throne and taken up residence here in Northreach. The High Cardinal? Leader of the Council of Elders, second only to his radiance at the head of the Imperial government. Not that any of those things still exist. Now he goes by his noble title, the Duke of Oriflam. And what does he want with Northreach? He wants to transform it into a military stronghold. A foundation upon which to build a new Sambrek. He's already secured the support of the various army remnants. With promises that they shall be afforded the respect they deserve in his empire. One built on the confiscated property of the people. He would rob the populace to pay for it. Believe me. I have used every means of persuasion to discourage him from this folly. But for whatever reason, he will not listen to me. What does Captain Philippe make of this? When the town was under attack, it was him the soldiers rallied around. Couldn't he use that influence again? How? By speaking out against one of the most powerful men in Sambrec. A man whose stated aim is to revive the Empire Philippe's comrades swore to serve, and to improve the soldier's lot within it. The captain can offer them a regular supply of gruel, and an occasional trip to the Vale to help them forget the terrors they face each day. The Duke offers them a vision of strength and safety. No. Any attempt to incite mutiny would cost Philippe the support of his men if it did not cost him his life. But given the mood around town, mutiny may yet be unavoidable. The people have little appetite for further deprivation, least of all when it serves only to elevate others. And who could blame them? Clive, would you appeal to the Duke on my behalf for your services to Northreach? You have the respect of the soldiers, and they will take you to his eminence if you ask them. And unlike Philippe, no bonds of loyalty prevent you from speaking your mind to the man. Well, <laughs> will you try? You could hardly fare any worse than I did. Of course. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Clive. Tell me then. Where will I find this Duke of Oriflam? In the garrison? Overseeing the troops, yes. All right. Wish me luck. Hey. Doubt that we're gonna end up fighting at least anytime soon, so I'm gonna 
Might this Duke have been at the Remembrance Ceremony? Let's hope we didn't make a strong impression. He was able to comment on a side quest. It's always nice when that happens. Because I could have easily come and done this without any companions. I just decided I wanted them first. So I made sure to go far enough to get Oops. companions. Oh, sorry about that. You're the dame's man, aren't you? You got some business with the captain? No, actually. With the Duke. I was hoping I might be able to speak with him. We're under orders not to let any civilians pass. But you should be all right. His eminence has heard all about you and your heroics. Wait here. I'll go and ask. So... You are the sellsword who lent his aid to the garrison. The Empire owes you a debt, <laughs> and I shall see it repaid. Oh, but tell me, is it wealth that you seek, or favor? Neither, Your Eminence. I thought only to inquire about your plan to turn Northreach into a stronghold. Ah, I see. You are worried the expanded garrison will render <laughs> your services <laughs> no. redundant. Yet you needn't be. A proud fighting man like yourself shall always have a place here. Pride of place, in fact. For too long has the contribution of the noble soldier been underreckoned. But no more. For it is they who shall see the Holy Empire rebuilt, beginning right here in Northreach. Why here, Your Eminence? The town has been fortunate enough to escape largely unscathed from the recent troubles. Her defenses are sound, and her garrison well prepared. Which is more than can be said for Oriflam or Twinside. The Empire wants for a capital, and I believe Northreach to be the perfect place. With Care Norvant as her citadel. Once we have seen to the refortification of both the town and the castle, we need only build a wall around both to create a city that would be the envy of the twins. Mm. That's a plans are really already long underway for the construction. Soon enough, these thralls shall learn that they are no match for the might of Sandbreck. I fear you underestimate how dangerous these creatures are, Your Eminence. Should they return in force, you will need all the people of Northreach to come together in defense of the town. Something they may be loath to do if they've been deprived of their worldly goods. The people will do as their leaders command. Ah, oh, fuck you. If Sandbreck is to be rebuilt, she will require a functioning government. One whose authority is beyond question. Every authority is necessary. Okay, no. Your phrase. So that no authority is beyond question. The army might do so and be fed, outfitted, and paid as befits a defender of the empire. And yet there are those who persist in peddling the treasonous lie that I seek to steal from the people and drive them from their homes. What it sounds like. I suspect they're afraid of losing what little they have left. Precisely. The common folk have little and less, and you mean to deprive them of even that. You would sow the seeds of your new empire in your own salted earth. Sabine, we have discussed this. Yes, and I told you then how putting the empire before her citizens would lead only to revolt. Without an empire, there are no citizens. Without the and citizens, yours, there, are no em begging. there is no empire. Is that what Griga wills for her people? Do not take her name in vain, Sabine. I'll come back later. <laughs> what? <laughs> the citizens revolt. I wonder what the people really think of the Duke's plan. It wouldn't hurt to ask them, I suppose. Yeah. Do the smart thing a leader Let's can do and actually the ask other side the, of the wall. The other side of the wall. Sabine. Yes. 
You are embarrassing me. <laughs> You're embarrassing yourself. Ha! Ah, motherfucker's gonna get what's coming to him. The Lord leaves his tower. Split asunder the lady she weeps. I do like that the bards switch up their she tune the to uh, sing about something that is currently going on. If I'd realized that sooner, we would have heard a lot more bard songs. Could be trouble again. All right there. What is it you're after, sir? Just your opinion, actually. I wondered what you thought of the Duke of Oriflam. <laughs> oh, him. Not much. None of us traders do. It's thanks to nobles like him that we had to set up shop this side of the wall in the first place. Couldn't have the rabble getting any closer to the holy capital, could they? And now he's trying to drive us out completely, threatening to take everything we got from us if we don't clear off. If the dame said she wanted him run out of town, I'll be straight through that checkpoint tar bucket in hand. Ah! If the leader we respect wants the leader we don't respect gone, then he'll be gone. Easy as that. And what can I do for you? Oh, no, no. Begin him. I've been hearing a lot of talk about a certain duke. Nothing good, I'll wager. Going around acting like he owns the place. And with hardly a word to the dame. This is her town, not his. I take it you'd rather she was in charge. As far as I'm concerned, she still is. Just need his eminence to sod off back to Oriflam. Say anything today? As much. The garrison salvaged what they could from me. A question. Every time I hit X what do you slightly think before I'm supposed to, he jumps at the person. Mm, don't get me started. You build a life for yourself somewhere, earning for some noble to turn up and tell you you've got to hand it all over to him. If he thinks his name and his chains give him the right to empty our purses, he's in for a rude awakening. We'll do whatever it takes to keep what's ours. Whatever it takes. Well, the people seem united enough. What about the soldiers? How do you think? Was that shouting I heard from the barracks? And you're just gonna fall into line. Excuse me, do you have a moment? I wondered if you'd mind sharing your thoughts on the Duke of Oriflam. Well, <laughs> he's made a lot of enemies coming in the way he did. But I mean, look around us. You can see the state the realm's in. The traders might not like having the screws put on them, but if they volunteered a few more of their hard-earned gill before things got bad, maybe they wouldn't have to. I think the Duke's got a point when he says rebuilding the Empire is the best way of making sure we're all protected. And if that means people who don't know one end of a sword from another have to make way for those who do, well, that's just how it goes. Yeah, no. It's not only control of the garrison he wants. Well, what do you think? What do I think? I think if we... We already have a leader in the day. There you're... One at a time now. Oh. You. You're the one who was talking to his eminence. On the dame's behalf, yes. 
I was trying to persuade him not to take the people's goodwill for granted, but it seems my words fell on deaf ears. What do you think of his plans? I'm a soldier, mate. He tells me what to do, not the other way around. Listen, I've got nothing but respect now. for the dame, but I've got a family to look after. That's where my loyalties lie, not with the town or the empire, but with my wife and children. If the Duke can get us the men and the equipment we need to fight off those blue-skinned bastards, I don't care how he does it. Yeah, how about you ask your wife and children then? Big crowd. Your loyalties lie with your wife and children. Ask them what they think about. I hear the Duke of Oriflam plans to turn this town into some sort of fortress. Do you think that's a good idea? It's not for me to say. All I know is that unless the Emperor orders me otherwise, his eminence's word is law. Look, no one likes all these taxes and tariffs, but empires don't come for free. Once Sandbrack is back on her feet, we'll all reap the benefits. Laughing at the low frame rate of the mm. dragon in the distance. Let's see what Philippe makes of all this. Can I hop this? Sabine, you are embarrassing me. A whole day to dry some bloody. Giving us an area. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Welcome only, back. Only, only without a helmet. Captain, do you have a moment? For you? Certainly. Clive, wasn't it? Thank you for last time. How can I help you? I wanted to ask you about the Duke of Oriflam. Do you intend to go along with his plan? But to tell you the truth, I'm in two minds. It's my sworn duty as a captain of the Imperial Army to obey his orders. But I can't say I agree with him. Philippe, I remember you saying that you became a soldier to protect the people you loved. The dame included. That's right. I did. Well, she doesn't agree with the Duke's orders either. She thinks they could tear Northreach apart. And she's probably right. Thank you, Clive. I know what I need to do now. Hmm. Protecting the people I love is what matters. Doesn't matter how. Well, duty calls, so I better go. Thanks again. All right. It seems Philippe wants to do the right thing at least. I expect Isabel will be pleased to hear that. If nothing else. Yeah, I figured this was going to be a, a big old talking mission. Ah, oh, Clive. How did you fare? Were you able to speak with the Duke? I was, but... Explain our day. <laughs> so Northreach is to be a fortress after all. Well, it will certainly help to hold back the thralls. There's no denying that. Though I doubt it will come as much consolation to the townspeople whose worldly goods are confiscated to pay for it. They deserve to be heard, Clive. To have a say in this new empire the Duke means to build. Sadly, his eminence values their obedience more than their opinions, and hopes to reassert the authority of the state. I fear he sees the people as mere pawns on his chessboard to be sacrificed for the greater good. Needless to say, they themselves that are of a different opinion, and greatly. would rather their destinies were in your hands. The soldiers, meanwhile, are content to follow their orders. And not just because of the Duke's rank, but because of his vision. 
I thought as much. Had I sworn to protect Sambrek, I dare say I too would want nothing more than to see it rise from the ashes. Thank you for trying. But the battle is lost. I don't know about that. That's different armor. What happened to your uniform? I handed it in, along with my resignation. Told the lads I wished them well, but that I owe it to those I love to call it a day. But why? Because I realized what really matters to me. Not following some nobleman's orders for the sake of it, but protecting what I care about. Protecting Northreach. I honestly don't know when those monsters will return, but I'm certain they're not finished with us yet. And when they do come back, we need to be ready for them. We need to stand together, all of us. And with you to lead us, my lady, I reckon we can do it. It was you who finally convinced me, Clive. There's no point following orders if they go against everything you believe. Damn right. Indeed. All of us. Standing together. That has always been Northreach's best hope. And one which still lies within our grasp. We have only to turn our attentions to the true enemy. Thank you, Philippe, for showing me what I must do. Anything for you, milady. Speaking of uh, standing together, would you mind if I borrowed a few of the lads from the Vale to help keep watch around the town? I fear his eminence has loftier tasks in mind for the guard. Not at all. Be my guest. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> there may be hope for Northreach yet. Especially with men like you and Philippe to champion our cause. I, for my part, shall continue to work upon the Duke in the stubborn belief that I might still tempt him into joining hands. But I suspect I shall have to call upon your aid again. Until then, Clive. Until then. Like I said last time, all our alliance like these are giving us two-parter quests that will, lead, that will end in us getting their sign board. <laughs> that was part one. Part two shall show up later. Right, the only thing left on this map quest wise is either Mirror or Science. And I don't think. I, I think the only uh, hunts on the map at the moment are uh, S ranks. I'm going for quite a bit. I'll probably start going for them when I hit around level 45. I don't need you. I'm 42 at the moment, so. The worst idea. I saw the captain just now. He wasn't wearing his uniform. Because he handed it in along with his sword. Said he'd find a better way to protect the town. Follow up to that line? Oh, you weren't here. I would speak with this Duke about the demands he's made of me and my fellow traders. Yeah? And why would he want to speak with you? Now piss off. Yeah, that's not going to end well for the Duke. What does the dame have to say about all this, I wonder? These guys definitely have to say. That's the guy we spoke to. You've heard, then. The Duke plans to make Northreach a fortress, and we'll have the townspeople pay for it. We are not only to build his walls, but feed his army and fill his stores, all for the privilege of living under his rule. Gonna lose. What did the Duke expect? That the merchants would just smile and hand over the keys to their coffers? Oh, I swore to protect this town and the people I love. I don't need a uniform to do that. I 
I think Gav got stuck on a tree there for a second. Here they are. In battle, so it's not not gonna close this up anymore. I was kind of hoping it would load it up so we could just float over to this battle. Ah, I should have run in. Wow, even at level one, it lasts a while. Not the one I wanted to hit with that. I'm sorry again? Nah, 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 nah. You are going down. Fucking magic nodes. Let me double check. stuff is here. Oh, that's why. Um, do I want to do the stuff I already have first and then come back for the new stuff? Maybe. Also, there's a hunt here. Right, yeah. Let, let's, let's do the stuff we already have. Forward, it's on the bridge here. Always love final. Still got these guys.
Easy. That's all of them. Oh, I can uncross his toes now. Crossing all my fingers and toes. And now we go and save, Dra save Dravage. I think the last blacksmith. So Dravosh is still standing. For now, at least. If you can swing a hammer, you can swing. The brass neck of that girl. Everyone's coming together to fight for their lives, and she hasn't lowered her prices of guilt. Yo, August. Clive, you're here. I'm here. And the Akashic. Mostly off to the north still. But I spoke to the Doris' scouts and it turns out they worse than I thought. There's swarms of them out there. Told old Snotty to be ready to seal the north gate. That should buy us some time if we need it. Enough for the villagers to barricade themselves inside their homes at least. Well done. Welcome back. Sid. I'd never have guessed, you know. Not if August hadn't let slip. Who'd have thought that the savior of Dravojd would turn out to be the realm's most infamous outlaw? Keen to help us out again? I am. Thought you could sneak off without me, did you? Oh! Really? Yeah, we did. Blackthorn. Oh, what are you doing here? One of the scouts couldn't keep his voice down. Unlike my best mate who didn't think I deserved to know. Zoldan, how long's it been? Long enough for us two to turn into a pair of old coaches, I see. That your idea of an apology? Prick. Don't listen to him. You only did what you thought was best. For the village and that. I did, yeah. But that ain't the whole of it. Vulcan. Our master didn't leave the chieftain to the two of us. He left it to me. The best blacksmith in Dravosht, barring himself, of course. <sighs> Bloody stupid tradition, in my opinion. If someone's got talent, you should let them practice their craft, not ask them to settle petty feuds and barter for grain. Our master wasted half his life that way. I wasn't about to let that happen to me. So you're wasting half of mine instead. You're what Dravos needed. Under me and my precious ideals, this place wouldn't have lasted a year. So I left to devote myself to the work and spare you lot the consequences. I may be a selfish prick, but I only did what I felt I had to. What you have had to do was your duty. Even if it meant we all starved? Enough. This is no time for bickering. You can finish beating each other up once Dravos is safe. Fine. I've said my piece anyway. Yeah. So have I. Sorry, Clive. I shouldn't have stuck my nose in. We're short enough on time as it is. Still, give us a mo, would you? I need to get my head straight before any of them Akashic try to bite it off. Oh. Probably won't count as a normal fight, so wages of Warcraft won't do shit. This is interesting. It is. Prick or not, I won't abandon Travos to a swarm of Akashic. Just say the word. The villagers know to keep out of sight when the fighting starts. You, uh, ready for the off then? We can't afford to waste any more time. Right you are. Might be worth having one last word with the scouts, though. Don't want any nasty surprises, do we? Oh, and... Blackthorn? You and Zoltan might be better off staying inside the... Akashic on the move! How close are they? Within sight of the walls. And there are more coming up from the mines. Ah, <sighs> what was I saying about nasty surprises? They'll wash right over us if we stay out in the open. We're pulling back behind the gates. Good idea. Get yourselves inside, but keep your weapons handy. 
Understood. I'm prepared to fight if I have to. Well, let's hope you don't. That's our job. Once the scouts are inside, order your men to barricade the gates. No heroic last stands, you hear me? No fighting at all if you can help it. August's right. I've seen what Akashic beasts Harry, can do to armor. So the people here are tough and willing, but they ain't equipped to face what's coming. I'm going out there. Start work on the gate as soon as I've left. I'll give you as much time as I can. And if they kill you? Mm. You evacuate. But it won't come to that. I promise. Yeah. <laughs> You'd better be right. Take good care of Dravosh till I get back. Leave it to me. Her brightness, and but it kind of fades in and out. Give those things what for, yeah? You guys probably see it a lot worse than I do. I don't know how well the uh, stream honestly comes across to Twitch. Ah, oh, shit. The Kashyyyk Bighorn. All right. Which one of you's first? Oh, shit. Okay. I wanted to charge this, damn it. Fight with a, a hail of missiles from above. Yeah, and all the other enemies are gone now. There's gonna be more. I shouldn't have used this now. Yep, new enemies approach. Come on. Okay, yeah. Using uh, bah Bahamut correctly is excellent. You're finished. Oh, they took him out. All right, we got just the one Akashic Griffin. Okay. But no. Mega Flare Dodge, really? Oh! It helped charge it by getting a perfect dodge during Mega Flare. That's cool. Oh. We got a bit of assistance from Joshua. Oh, it was. It was one free hit! I don't know how I unlocked, but... Oh. Yeah, let's cancel that and do this. Actually didn't mean that one, but sure. Alright. Yeah, of course it was the last one. Is that it? 
Oh no. Apparently not. Chimera! That one's not even Akashic! Canyon Chimera! It cost me. this again. Oh, come on! Oh, it doesn't actually just cancel it. Okay, a lot of those are missing. Over fifty thousand. Oh shit. Oh come on. Why can't I? Oh god. Why can't I get that damn timing? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Give me the butt. I knew we'd get that 50,000 one eventually, but I had forgotten what- I thought the number was actually 60,000. Hey! I was somehow able to perfect dodge that! I was somehow able to dodge that at all. Deadly Embrace followed by uh, Gouge is a perfect combination for things that have a stagger bar. There we go, wanted an ability finish. Enemy slay. Is that the first Chimera we came across? I know there's a hunt for one of them later. It mentions on that thing. Oh, the question is, did I miss any? 
I'm gonna say no. Man alive! You still in one piece! I slew as many as I could. <laughs> as many as I could, he says. The old bleeding lot more like it. Well, almost. Only almost. Yeah, one or two did try to sneak over the wall. But we got the bastards, don't you worry. Good. Though you do know, more will come in time. In time, yeah. But we can think about them later. Let's get you back inside. Seeing a fight like that, I feel like both August and Black are like, oh right, this is the guy we work for. <laughs> Yo. Sid, <laughs> you're even more fearsome than your reputation. Enough to give those Akashic monsters nightmares. I almost felt sorry for the wretched things. But mostly, I felt grateful. Dravost won't forget what you did today. I'm afraid I've only delayed the inevitable. There's no getting rid of that ether flood. Meaning that any living thing which stumbles into those mines will end up clawing at your walls again. And that's if the flood don't spread. If it does, well... I hate to say it, but the village's days are numbered. That may be, but we're staying just the same. With ether floods springing up all over, it's no less safe than anywhere, and more importantly, it's our home. We'll fortify the gates to the north, and I'll see that they're guarded day and night. All right. Then we'll give you a hand shoring up those defenses. As for you, Blackthorn, that's twice you've turned up when Dravosh needed you. So, thanks. I shouldn't have stayed away so long, and I shouldn't have left without talking it over with you first. <laughs> Too bloody right you shouldn't. Though I doubt I'd have listened, I always envied you. How you made everything look so easy when, for me, it was anything but. You leaving gave me the perfect excuse to hate you. And from that day on, I never once stopped to wonder what it would have been like if you'd stayed. But what you said earlier... It was true. You'd have been the death of this place. Finally. Something we can agree on. I hope you see the sense of it eventually. You kept this place alive. Alive, perhaps. Wealthy even, but... Dravoj isn't what it once was. Our work used to be the pride of Dalmechia. Now, we churn out the same rubbish day after day because it's easy and turns a profit. It's not about the craft anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't send my sons to war wearing the shit most of our smiths are making. I've kept working, honing my skills, trying to lead by example, but no one sees the point. The average castle apprentice has as much passion for the craft as our current lot. Come back to us, Blackthorn. Remind Dravosht what a true master blacksmith looks like. <laughs> I'll even man those bellows of yours if it means we can work at the same forge again. That's a kind offer. Kinder than I deserve. And I wish I could accept, but I'm needed elsewhere. There's people who trust their lives to my steel. And I dare let him down. Uh, fair enough. But that doesn't mean I couldn't visit from time to time. Let's see if we can't rekindle this town's passion for the craft, shall we? I'd like that. Just be sure to tell Snotty to let me in the next time I come calling, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Knowing him, he'd let you in anyway. Blackthorn. The Master Smith turned outlaw. Back in my good graces. I never thought I'd see the day. I'd say that went pretty well, wouldn't you? Even better than I'd hoped. Agreed. Sid, I've got something for you. Hey, you got a seal. Cracked anvil. And this is? 
A token of our lasting gratitude. But I'm of a mind to make you a far grander gift. Designs for a certain sword have been passed down from chief to chief for generations. Now hold on, Sultan. There's a reason no one's made that blade in centuries. There's not been a craftsman equal to the task. I'll admit your cinders make impressive steel, and I've learned to own an edge Odin will be proud of. <laughs> but the engravings on that thing are enough to make a jeweler cry. And they're not just for show, either. Have you forgotten what brought you back to Dravorged in the first place? Right? Hmm? A certain ring? I knew I'd never surpass you with a hammer and tongs. So I turned my hand to a different kind of metalwork. Between the two of us. I'd say we're the equal of any master craftsman ever to have graced a forge. <laughs> you know what? I think you might be right. Clive, you wouldn't mind if Zoltan came back to the Idaway, would you? <laughs> He's more than welcome. Really? As long as he can keep our secret. Right. Zoltan, get your tools. We've got a legend to forge. Yeah, not yet, though. <laughs> we need the materials for it. Okay. So, oh, right. Hold on, hold on. You know, I'll talk to them first, get the last bits of dialogue, then I'll tell you. With a little help from Blackthorn, I don't see why we can't restore Dravosh to its former glory. <laughs> Barring ether floods, that is. I'll tell you what, Clive. If we pull this off, it will ruin every other sword you've ever held. Sure. Literally the strongest sword in the game. I'll get him back to the Eidaway. Don't you worry about that. So. Before we head back to the hideaway, because we're going to go back before we start any of the other quests here, there is a hunt I want to do over here. Uh, case. Stock the beast of potions. Charging at me. And then just run out, run over there. Thank you for your help, Sid. I don't know if we could have done it without you. But we did, and with hardly a man wounded. Which is well. For we'll be needing all the strength we can to keep the Akashic down. I have some things for sale. Certainly. Here you are. May we meet again. So if we're going over there, I just need to go out this way and pretty much go straight down this way. Let's see if I can just... You and your friends saved Dravosh twice over. We'll try not to ask it of you a third time. Ah. The flood's still pressing up against our gates. But we've got men, we've got metal, and we've got the will to defend what's ours. Alright. Hit. Should I say snotty? Let's not fight the big enemies on the way to a big enemy.
Dread Comet. Rainbow Chocobo. Rank A. That's like no Chocobo I've ever seen. Something tells me it won't be easily broken. Whoa! I guess that Chocobo Meteor uh, move is why he's called the Dread Comet. He doesn't have a stagger, but ow! Okay. Definitely working, so I got some time for this. Stacker bar. Normal strategies aren't really gonna do much, huh? Ah, I jumped it. Nice try. That just straight up missed. Yeah, just do this. There we go. There's another one. Okay. And high potion in here. Oh, Meteor Rain. Okay. Will you stop that? No good. I needed that. I jumped into it. That's a ah. Oh, oh. oh no! It's over. There we go. Oh, that was surprisingly difficult. Why didn't they give him a stagger bar? Oh, Comet Feather. Poor beast. There was nothing I could do. Yeah, it was just so incredibly violent. I'm glad I fully restocked all my items before coming here. Holy shit. All right, back to the hideaway. Ah. Oh. Hide away, finish both of these very important quests.
restock all our potions. Doesn't matter, I'm already over here. The stew's awful. Back here. Ah, okay. The man himself. We were just about to make a start on that sword, I promised you. It's funny, but none of this would have been possible without your help. You remember Camille? We'll be using his level work for the grip. The steel, meanwhile, will be tempered in a fire burning the cinders you charmed out of old Zoltan here. And that wet stone from the outer isles? That'll be what gives the blade its edge. Oh, and the final flourish will be my talented colleagues engraving. A team effort led by the greatest blacksmith alive. <laughs> now, now, save that talk to the things finished, yeah? Right. I'm ready if you are. To the bellows it is then. I mean... Are we actually getting sword out of this? Sometime later. Well, bugger me. <laughs> we actually did it. Oh, yeah! The kind sword to the... end all swords. Ragnarok. Hell yeah. Okay. Quite something. I believe it's I, like uh, the second strongest sword. Trust you'll take good care of it. <laughs> Thank you. Both of you. So, does this make you pair the greatest craftsman alive then? <laughs> this? <laughs> nah. This was just following the footsteps of the greats of old. It'll take more than that to earn us our place in history, but we're up for the challenge. Here. A list of materials. Zoltan and I got talking on the long road back from Dravoist. We reckon with those items there, we could craft something even better than the Ragnarok. Something worthy of a legendary outlaw like yourself. That's what I was thinking. That's a weapon I'd like to see. You leave this list with me. I was hoping you'd say that. One legend at a time, eh, lads? Before you start on the next, who fancies raising a cup to friendship reforged? Good idea. Also, no good more fun. drinking to forget my past. It's about time I had something to celebrate. <laughs> then tap the kegs. Vulcan's boys are on their way. Of course it was Quest complete. Blacksmith blues. Done. That's the entire blacksmith. Yeah. Gotter Damarong. <laughs> and Ragnarok. Yeah, this, this design draft. That is the strongest sword in the game in your first playthrough. But ancient ashen legend predicts that one day the age of dominance will draw to a close in an epic clash of the land ablaze, cleansing it of foulness and allowing mankind for birth. The clash they call Ragnarok. Huh. Interesting. Your Damarong recipe unlocked! Okay. Talk with those two and take a look at it. Do you reckon we finally got to the bottom of Blackthorn's troubles then? Yeah, That'd be something, we eh? have. Now, he wouldn't be Blackthorn if he didn't give us the odd scale. Uh, no need to thank me for the sword. I'm happy just to be here. You've... Oh, we had another one. 
I realized it didn't automatically equip it. There we go. Build a fine home for yourselves. And I can see why Blackthorn's so taken with it. <laughs> Look after the old bastard for me, will you? Of course. I'll be off soon, but next time you're in Dalmakia, be sure to pay me a visit. Snotty will let you in. <laughs> oh. oh? We got a special dialogue option for the end of this. <laughs> I never thought me and Zoltan would ever speak again. Let alone work together. And if it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't. You've been a good friend of me, Clive. The best. What's that in for, dear? Okay. You needed Comet Falcon. We also need Orcalcum. Orcalcum, there is, I think, what, exactly four of it? And you need two for a sore, then one for each of these. Ouroboros armors. Here that they put at the top. Oh, we have the marble flower. We need stone tongue rock. And stone tongue. Delta Damarong. Oh no, no, it needs three or Calcum. And Ragnarok. And two Dark Steel. Yeah. Most of these are things you get from the S rank and hunts. So, uh. Ah, it looks good, though! And it's in relatively the same shape as the, uh. Lemon tarts. The, the standard sword, the one you got with the, with the outfit that we saw last time in the. Can the loss. Can we read Miss Editor's story for a lesson today? We have the second strongest one. Recipe for two. How was she? The Enterprise, I mean. Ah, Sid. Wasn't expecting you back so soon. So, is it good news or bad? Good, thankfully. Yeah. That's brilliant! Thanks a blimmin' million! I'll fit into the smelter right away! May I present to you... The Telemon Furnace! In bad is she? Is gonna go over here. She's a beauty. You saved my bacon again, Sid! And I ain't about to let your good deed go unrewarded! It's it's fine, really. My <laughs> bag's uh, flexible enough already. Oh, don't say that. I'm sure I can make a few improvements to it yet. You could just buy me a bigger. <laughs> just get me a bigger bag. Looks a bit stiff. Reckon you could loosen it up and make some more room? <laughs> I reckon I know how. With a new alloy we've been working on, the Telemon Furnace was just what we needed to perfect it. It's a metal, see? So it's lovely and strong, but it's also, well, stretchy, if you can believe it. What? Stretchy metal. <laughs> well, if you insist. He's like, well, ah, shit, I can't say no now. You'll love it. I promise. So? What do you reckon? <laughs> it's... actually quite ingenious. <laughs> Thank you, Owain. Shh. Don't mention it. You earned it. And I wanted to get some practice in using that metal anyway. Reckon we'll have all kinds of uses for it around the hideaway. Can't think of any right now, but... <laughs> that's our job, innit? Dreaming up new ways to make life easier around here. 
maybe even out there, too. One day, the whole world's gonna know about the inventions you've helped us put together. That bag of yours will be the first of many. You mark my words. They'll hardly believe their eyes, I'm sure. Let's complete. Even weirder science. <laughs> Stretchy metal. An expanded potion satchel. Further increasing my potion. I was expecting it to say maximize. Yep, I see. Oh, inventory maximized. There we go. Yep, I was right. Eight, five, and then four for the others. With two Ds! I, I don't know what's with two Ds, but that was for expanding our satchel. No, seriously, what's with two Ds? Not even sure. Yeah. That's what I could refer to. Let's run over to... I even need to go to Karen? Wait. Yeah, took out two hunts since we looked last, so I'll take it. Trifalac Tri Terror. Oh, okay, that's why this is showing up. Yes, it's another S rank. But like I mentioned, there was a hunt that's a chimera. This is it. We have only S ranks left. Yeah, we'll do those sooner or later. I guess we might actually be the weakest of the S ranks, but it's also level 45. We'll get there. We will get there. Yeah, our next destination is Dalino. So we'll just stock up over here. Dalamo, Tabor, and the Baca, Baklad Markets. So we'll be sticking around the desert for a while. Everything's back the way it was. I don't I know how they did it. I want to restock first. Oh yeah, everything's back. It, everything's back. Very nice. No longer all messed up. Took my livelihood with it. We need someone who can bring the whole town together. Anything I can interest you in? My thanks. Here you are. An excellent these. choice. My thanks. We could get another elixir and have two of them under our belt. It's very expensive, but eventually I'll end up using them. So. Fare you well. You know what? You've been doing a real good job, Torgal. I uh, haven't given you enough pets. <laughs> there you go. Adorable. Ain't how dark it feels. Was that a door before? Is that a wall? No, I think there was actually something open there. Get off. Mustard and mandrakes. Fresh silks from the Kanda Caravan. Take that, you naughty thief! And that! Stop! Clive! To what do I owe the pleasure? I just wanted to see how the town's been faring since you brought everyone together. Uh, since we brought everyone together? All is absolutely wonderful. Conrad and Natalie's hands remain safely away from each other's throats and firmly at the helm. Our stores are full, and the bandits still too disorganized to raid them. Just as the good Lady Jane and Lord Underhill intended. Are you a lord? Lubor's going to be one too. They're going to make him the Lord of Dalamil. Because of how he stopped all the grown-ups from fighting. 
It's the mayor of Dalamil, dear child, and the vote hasn't taken place just yet. But if the people wish me to lead them, I shall. And my first act will be to build a school so that menaces like you two learn not to interrupt your elders. Doesn't even look at them while he's Speaking of menaces, there may be a rather worrying one just over the horizon. May there indeed. I'm afraid the example Conrad and Natalie set in putting aside their differences in presenting a united front might have caught the bandits' attention. And they might have elected to take a similar approach. They have formed what one could call a League of Outlaws. And they grow more organized by the day. We'll fight them all off just like last time. No matter how many of them there are. Won't we, Lubor? Of course we will. If we continue to work together, we can overcome any challenge we choose to face. The longer we avoid facing this one, the more difficult it will be. Until the only way to overcome it might be to run for the hills. Our best hope is to nip these efforts at organization in the bud. By finding those ne'er-do-wells who have yet to join the cause, and ensuring that they never do. Perhaps a certain Lord Underhill might be willing to lend us his aid once more? How could I refuse? <laughs> Thank you, my lord. Victor will fill you in on the particulars. I have him stationed by the Desert Gate, receiving and collating reports from my scouts. Such an amenable soul. He reminds me of you. I'll go and speak with him. What's the difference between a lord and a mayor? That's easy. One of them swings a sword, the other forges them. A lot more hunts that we haven't seen yet. But I think we have all but one of the S ranks. A League of Outlaws. On there already. Sounds like we have some competition. We may have bloodied the bandits' noses, Sid, but it seems we have not yet broken their spirit. Victor is helping us to keep track of their movements. And we're very glad of his help. That man knows the desert and its dwellers like the back of his hand. Victor, my friend. What, as they say, is up? Still in Dalamil, Victor. Ah, Sid. I thought you'd have returned to Kostnis by now. I did. Then I came back. I've developed something of a fondness for the place. And having worked so hard to see it saved from one fate, it would seem remiss to abandon it to another. A sentiment Master Lubor certainly isn't shy about exploiting. Hence, my doing his bidding yet again. You're not the only one. What does he want you to do? He asked for my aid in putting down the bandits. And he said that you might be able to help me find them. Then you've come at just the right time. I was on my way to speak with Conrad about how to organize our forces. There are more camps in the vicinity than we can safely strike at once. But we must strike together, and we must strike soon at as many camps as we can. We can't give this League of theirs time to rally its forces. All right. Which camp shall I take? There's one upriver. Just out there, across the dunes. Leave it with me. All right. Question is... Gear-wise... Do I go for the Berserker Ring, or... Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with Wages of Warcraft. Okay, so where are we going? All the way up there. Yes. Those ne'er do wells want to band together. Let me. Did they all go around one? 
Oh, not what I wanted that. I wanted that. I guess we're fighting now. want to fight him, but we did. It was easy enough. And this probably won't count as a normal fight. Normal encounter. That must be the camp victim mentioned. We make this quick. That's him! The one who killed Locke and Fingers. Take his head off! Unleashed. It's over! Oh no, hold up. Hold up! Who did that? You! Oh! Finished it with taking three out with one move. Very good. I better let Victor know. Sid, where are you? Hi, Victor. Ah, I see the bandits didn't pose you any trouble. No, but that's not why you're here, is it? No. Something's happened. We need you back in Dalimil. What is it? The whole town's in uproar. They're saying that Lubor is a bearer. What? Seems that one of our parties wasn't as thorough as they should have been. They let one of the bandits escape, and his escape route took him right through Dalimil. Some of the children spotted him, and he was about to silence them. And when Lubor felled him with a bolt of magic, and without a crystal. But that's not possible. It is if he's a bearer and has been hiding it all these years, which is what people are saying. If he has, well, I wouldn't blame him. No man is branded by choice. Still, all those people see is a man who's lied to them all his life. One who has made a leader of himself when the world believed he should have been a slave. Shit. Fuck. I don't know where we go from here. But I know one thing. 
Lubor needs all the friends he can get right now. You're right. And now everyone knows. <laughs> I made it a habit to keep a crystal close at hand for just such an occasion. And when that occasion arose, I forgot to reach for it. <laughs> well, it was bound to come out sooner or later. We're sorry, Lubor. We tried to keep running, but we just couldn't anymore. There's nothing to be sorry for. I rather enjoyed playing the hero for once. All that matters to me is that you two are safe. Look at him talking to his betters like it's nothing. All lies hey, are wages. Who said that? Like the smack you. Us all these years. Once people make up their minds, it's hard to change them. We need to do something, and quickly. Convince the people not to let their prejudices blind them. Convince them that nothing has changed. That their enemy lies outside these walls, not within them. You're right. We should speak to everyone. I'm glad you agree. I'll handle the townsfolk. I'm a downright born and bred. They listen to me. You head to the tavern. Make Conrad and Natalie remember who Lubor really is. They know that Lubor and I are friends. I might not make for the most impartial of interlocutors. Lord Underhill of Randalar's League of Merchants, however, is a trusted and impartial mediator of note. I'll oh god, right, they still think I'm Lord Underhill. Though, they didn't really believe that. Lubor, stay here with the children. I can't promise anything, but we'll try. And that is all I can ask of you. Here and close enough to <laughs> Why are you taking the bearer's side, Victor? Are you one too? You know I'm not. Just listen. Why do they always have to make such a fuss outside? It's driving away our customers. <laughs> And we fell for it. We followed him. A bearer. Forgive me for disturbing you, but... Could I have a moment of your time? Hmm. I've seen your face before. As have I. Lord Underhill, wasn't it? Of the League of Merchants. Uh, that's right. I wanted to speak to you about Lubor. The rumors that he's a bearer. All true, I'm afraid. He'll never be mayor now. Not if I have anything to do with it. But what of his wares? Bearer or no, his steel is highly valued throughout the Republic. In this, at least, he's done the town a service. Might that not earn him a little leniency? Leniency? He pretended to be one of us when he was laughing behind our backs all the while. He I'm is sorry, one my lord, but idiots. he lied to us. He lied to you. He cannot be trusted. So what do you propose? Will you drive him from his home? Close his forge? Perhaps. That is a question for the people of Dalimil. And they will thank you not to get involved. Not gonna continue there? Alright. The townsfolk have made their minds up. There was nothing I could do. Nor I. Conrad and Natalie refused to consider anything but their own wounded pride. You never know. Once their anger is cooled, they might see things differently. For now, we should report back to Lubor. All right. He wasn't laughing behind your backs, you idiot. He was trying to survive. Why the hell would Victor take the bearer's side? For a share in Lubor's ill-gotten gill, perhaps? It's not ill-gotten! 
You idiots! You racist idiots! No, it's technically not race. Is magicist? What do you even call it in this one? I assume the situation is hopeless. There's still hope, but. The exact conversations that happened. But perhaps not in this lifetime, I think it's fair to say. You mustn't think like that, Lu Bo. Give them time. They'll come around. We'll talk some sense into them in the end. You'll see. No, you won't. And your efforts would be better spent elsewhere. But Lu Bo. Rosina would often tell me that steel does not lie, that a blade is a reflection of the smith who forged it. To yourself be true, that was her point. Rather an ironic one when you consider that her life was taken with a blade of her own making. But I do not doubt that she was always true to herself and what she believed in right to the end. And so must I be. I must do what I know to be right, no matter what others might think of me. And now, I know what that is. I must embrace my new role of villain, so that the people of Dalamil have something to unite against. For only united can they hope to stand against the threat that awaits them. I'll need to make a suitably dramatic exit, of course. Don't go, Lubo. You're the only one who was ever kind to us. We'll be all alone. But again. Trust me, little ones. It is for the best that I go. Not only for the town, but for you, too. How could it possibly be for the best? These children need you. The least you can do is give the townspeople a chance to change their minds. They would not take it, Victor. It's over. Over, you say? And so just like that, you're going to throw this town and these children to the wolves? I thought you were better than this, but it seems you had me fooled as well. Victor. Forget it. Do what you will. Are you sure you're making the right choice, Lubo? Of those available to me, I believe it's the best one. Yes. Ah, but where are my manners? Here. A reward for clearing out that bandit camp. Right then. I have packing to do. If there's anything I can do. Anything. I'll bear it in mind. Thank you. Is it embarrassed? Mine's in the sand. Everyone being mean to Lubo. He didn't do anything wrong. I'm going to go with him. Oh, okay, well, that was Dalamil's quest. Uh, we go to Tabor next? Yeah, we'll go to Tabor next. of the burning quill is within, my lord. Privy enter. The greater number of our order live among the masses, hidden in plain sight. Even here in Tabor, our brothers and sisters pose as common folk. If any should reveal themselves to you, I beg you keep their true identity secret. Fair enough. Encyclopedia of Velocity. Fabulosity? Pentateuch of the Crucified Orthodoxy. Judgments of Truth of the Amber of the Crucified. Lord.
Lord Rosfield. Is there aught the Undying might assist you with this day? Perhaps. My brother said your order was helping him with his quest to uncover Ultima's origins. Have you learned anything of note since last we spoke? Little and less, I regret to report. I see. Be assured, however, that we will not rest until the truth is known. Even now, our archaeologians scour ruins in every corner of the realm for traces of Ultima's touch. Fallen ruins, I take it. Dating back as far as Phoenix Gate. Indeed. Ultima's thralls are oft sighted among the remnants of the fallen civilization, as if protecting the secrets concealed within. Secrets we'd see unearthed. Should our methods be of interest, my lord, Mayhap it would please you to observe some of our number at work. Would that be possible? Of course. A survey has been conducted not far from here. Perchance you are familiar with Kretov. A small hamlet built around a fallen airship. I was due to visit my colleagues there to collect their preliminary findings, but... If you would consent to do so in my stead... I'm sure that they would be honored to relate any discoveries they have made to you directly. All right. All right. I'll go and meet with them. They will be most gratified, I am sure. Might I suggest you take the road through Titan's Wake? It will lead you straight to the village after but a short walk. Thank you. I will. I wish you a safe journey, my lord. May the Firebird's flames burn ever in your heart. Beauty undying. Ah. Ah, Titan's Wake. He wants us to go this way. Good. Go to the point over there, but... Yeah. It's kind of you to take an interest in the Undying's affairs, brother. I can't have you all keeping secrets from me, can I? There, there's actually a hunt along this path, but uh, not one that we have on our list yet. If it shows up, I'll be surprised. is always fucking funny to me. Thank you, Joshua, for that. The sudden burst of flame from below. Went before on our way to uh, camp. Now, we turn. Okay! Was not expecting Revenants. I want to knock him away first. I wasn't locked up. Oh, wait. Self gill on. Damn it.
As much as I don't mind more gill, I want more AP. I'm sorry. Helgaru! <laughs> yeah, it looks like it'll attack us either way, so might as well just fly on in there! That was close. Cool. Oh, fuck. Oh wow, that works real well for getting me down. Sure, why not? Hunt is technically here. -ish. I think there's a chest up here. And just some glimmers down here. Like I said the hunt wasn't on the board yet. Any spellcasters here? Huh? Got that defense though. Oh, come on. The demolitionist? What? Increases magic burst will damage. 
interesting. Barely use magic burst. I often forget it exists. Not something I would normally use. I'm doing combos, not interrupting a combo with magic. Or sunlight over here. We've got a real plants. This is cool. Yeah. The, 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 like magic flooded river. Through the rope here? Really? Come on. No, no, it was already like that. Walk over there. on here. Huh. Fool's gold. Is, I'd say it's their leader.
They approached and got instantly into that attack. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, come on, I dodged. Primed in that fight? All right, cool. Should have stayed in the past. Semi primed, I guess, is the way to go. These must be Cyril's colleagues. You have our thanks, stranger. Who are you? Ah, forgive me, my lord. I did not recognize you. You are Lord Rosfield, are you not? Both of them, actually. We are archaeologians tasked with surveying this site. When the echoes appeared, our brothers here occupied their attentions. Thanks to them, and to you, we were, for a mercy, able to see our duty to its conclusion. You call that a mercy? Your brothers might still be alive if you put their safety before your duty. Surely this survey wasn't worth dying for. We are charged with uncovering Ultima's origins. A duty of the highest import, as I'm sure you will agree. And you think your dead brothers would agree with you too? I know they would. They gave their lives for the cause, an honor to which all undying aspire. Now. To what do we owe the honor of your presence, Lord Marquis? Cyril told me of your work here, and I agree to collect your findings in his stead. I see. That is most kind. Pray, take them then, with our humble thanks. May the Firebird's flame burn ever in your heart, as it does in ours. One thing to lay down your life for another, but for a survey. Forgive them, Clive. The Undying live by a very different creed, and nothing we say will change that. Come, let us deliver their findings to Cyril, that their deaths might not be in vain. Think no more of us, my lord. Only deliver our findings to the bearer of the burning quill. It's still not that difficult to fight. buying or selling a fine choice of course come again ah you are returned my lord I collected your colleagues preliminary findings here Take them. My 
thanks. I shall study them, and inform you forthwith if I discover aught that might aid you in your fight against Ultima. Cyril, your survey party suffered several losses in Kratov. Losses which could have been avoided, had the others not chosen to complete their work instead of saving their friends. Were these your orders? No. This was their choice. Every Undying devotes his life to the service of the Phoenix. It is our sole duty, and should we die in discharging it, so be it. Even when death is avoidable. My lord, I fear that this is not a point over which it would be fruitful to argue. The Undying have served the Phoenix for countless generations, and your opinion of our methods, however earnest, is not like to change them. We live to serve the Phoenix. Our very order exists for that purpose, and that purpose alone. Cyril, I know that you and your brethren answer only to Joshua, but allow me to offer you a word of advice. It does not further the cause of the Phoenix to have his loyal followers surrender their lives without good reason. Provide your survey parties with an escort, that they might live to do their duty for years to come. Think not only of how you can serve the Phoenix, but how Joshua would want you to serve him. Please, for all our sakes. I thank you for your ah, advice. Very Lord. well worded. If you will permit me to respond, our faith in his grace, Joshua Rossfield, is absolute. And we of the Undying will do what we believe is right to fulfill our duty unto him. As first shield to the Phoenix, I am sure you understand what it means to do one's duty. I do. Then we are of the same mind. And it is my hope that we may continue to do our duty together. Don't know how positive that response was. <laughs> Duty and dying. Hey, we got a level out of it. Nice. Joshua? Yeah, another quest that could have been done without Joshua here, so it does make sense that he doesn't have to come. And last but not least, Buckla. Theo, Theo! Ah, uh, Clive. You'll be pleased to know that the negotiations are progressing well. That is good news. Yes. Our comrade in Randala has just sent word that the contract should be signed very soon. But I still have much and more to prepare. It's a huge undertaking moving this many bearers at once. You couldn't do me a quick favor, could you? What is it this time? More wild beasts? Nothing like that. I just need you to go over to the caravans and ask El how long we have until the bearers arrive. Find out exactly how much faster I need to get all these supplies moved. All right. I'll go and ask. Thanks, Clive. I owe you one. Trading places, too. How do you think this will end? I think by getting a signboard. Don't blame yourself, El. This is their fault, not yours. I know, but... No buts about it, all right? Is something wrong? Ronnie came to give me a message from our intermediary. The talks with the Republican army have fallen through. They've reached an agreement with the Silver Peak Consortium instead. 
Though prices have fallen of late, we deliberately offered above the going rate to try and deter other bidders. But the consortium offered double what we did, and the army jumped at the chance. And you had no opportunity to make a counteroffer? None at all. And we were so close. L, what's happened? You're gonna come over uh, here yourself. I saw Vonnie leaving. She didn't look happy. And with good reason. Explain the few lines of dialogue she just told us. But I thought we were the only ones the Fist was speaking to about the bearers. How did the Consortium even find out about this? It's not so surprising. They have ears all over the Republic. This isn't over. The Consortium will have to sell these bearers eventually. And at the price they paid, buyers will be few and far between. I'm going to Randallar myself. Alone? You sure that's wise? Are you offering to be my bodyguard? How kind. Meet me at the checkpoint near the capital gates. I'll send an owl ahead and request a meeting. You go to Cashlock, Theo, and get everything ready. We've waited far too long as it is. Even if I fail to free these bearers, there will be others. Someone needs to prepare the place and keep any prowling beasts at bay. Oh, and that's me, is it? Yeah. Well, it looks like I'm following orders till she gets back from... from meeting the Silver Peak Consortium, who've been doing their best to undermine our scheme. She'll never join them after this, surely. Now she said it herself, she still has plans for Cashlock, even if this one falls through. She means to stay with us, then. I can't say I'm not happy to hear it, but... Is this what she really wants? You have to trust her. You're right. It's what she wants now. And if Elle's off fighting for the cause, I should do my part too. So I bid you farewell and safe travels, my friend. I'll gather my men and leave for Cashlock. We'll make sure the place is well stocked and defended. You go to Randala and see if you can stop my sister biting the consortium's heads off. If she won't consider her prospects, someone has to. I'll do my best. All right. To Randalar, then. And better not keep Eloise waiting. Oh, it's just... just down here. Right, this is the gate to Randalar, which we have not been in. We might have seen a scene in there. Um... That's where the, the leaders were that um, Titan was talking to. However, we have not been in there ourselves. What I wouldn't give for a hot meal. Looks like this is the end of the world. When are they gonna let us through? Here. Saving up for forty-two fifty. Yeah. I might do another search and see what a good build might be. I'm, I'm liking my build at the moment. Ever. I feel like there's something I could be doing better. Yeah. Oh, that—that that is not what I thought I was doing. Yeah. That is. Birds, I need to have my teleport. but they're going down quick. I guess we are, what, 43 net? We're 10 levels above them. Hell yeah. No wonder they're going down quick. Oh, this isn't finished. Give me that one then. 
It's actually a wider range on that one. So. This is gonna go. So just in case, we're gonna switch this to that. So I'm switch back to guild details. This is the middle of it. Feel like it'll end up with a fight. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Did you arrange to speak with a consortium? Here they are now. You wish to consult with me? I did. It's about the bearers you recently purchased from the Fist. We had all but finished making arrangements to buy them ourselves, and then you stepped into the fray. You misunderstand. The Consortium had an interest in purchasing them from the very first. It was only our regard for you that kept us from bidding. But your hesitancy in accepting our offer to you suggested that the regard was not mutual. And so we resumed our business. I did not hesitate. I am simply not inclined to make such decisions without first giving them due consideration. But what is done is done. Come then, how much do you want for them? Alas, you are too late yet again. We rarely take on such unconventional merchandise without a purchaser in mind. The bearers belong to him now. Who is your buyer? A trader from across the water. A most demanding fellow, if it's any consolation. He insisted the bearers be fed, dressed, even given their own bunks for the voyage over. Ah. That's what you get when you deal with continental types. I wouldn't know. Oh yes, the culture on the continent is quite different to ours. They pay good money for bearers not fit for the knacker's yard, and treat them like kings. But as long as they pay... That does sound unusual. No matter then. If they've already left our shores, there's little that can be done. Allow me to withdraw my interest. And with it, continent. my interest in joining your organization. Oh. Ash? They went to Ash? Is that what they meant? Or is this just for the... My I don't think it has to do with this. To hear I'm sorry you weren't able to save them. I should have switched to Gil. Damn. As am I. But I only have myself to blame. He was right, you see. The Silver Peak Consortium did intend to buy those bearers before I did. Their representative hinted at a possible purchase when he came to recruit me. I feigned interest in joining them in the hope he might be encouraged to tell me more. And he did just that. As soon as he left, I sent my own offer to Randall R. So you never... No. I entertained the Consortium's proposal solely so I could learn more about those bearers. Oh. But I was a fool to think they wouldn't find out. I knew exactly who I was dealing with. You tried. I did. And if what he said was true, the bearers are to be well treated. Which is something, at least. But they deserved more. I wanted so badly to see them freed. Eloise! Eloise! Word from Cashlock. The village is under attack. A pack of beasts have come down from the mountains, and there's a dragon at its head. Theo and the others are trying to hold them off as best they can, but the odds are against them. They need help, and fast. Theo! I'll go on ahead. Thank you, Clive. I'll gather some men and join okay, you so there. We're not Just done. make sure he's safe. Will do. Hold on, Theo. I'm coming. Wait, where is he? Right. It's closer. Oh, 
I'll keep the Berserker Ring on. It will count as a normal. Theodore. Up river! He led the dragon that way to keep it from the village, but the whole area is flooded with ether. We just have to pray he makes it out in one piece. I can do better than that. Toggle, with me. And uh, Joshua and Gav as well. You, you, you didn't have to be here, but I thank you for it. <laughs> I hadn't gone up here before. Few fights without any damage. Okay. The ether is too thick. These creatures have already turned. Lock on so I don't lose is when I do that. love ending with a mortal blow. I can't waste any more time. I need to find Theodore before that dragon does. Oh, shit! Looks like it's found me. I didn't realize it would be an actual dragon. Well. This isn't going to be easy.
No, it's not what I wanted. Dragon dance. Oh, I can't see shit. the time to do this. we go damn i was hoping in a bit hoping for an ability finish oh well especially uh clive you know you had me worried oh for... no I 
think it might be a little too late for that. Vera or no, there's only so much ether a man can take. And that Drake just wouldn't let me leave. You have my thanks, Sid, for finishing what I could not. For keeping Elle's dream. Theodore. That's not Theo anymore. Thank you, Clive. I think I'll be all right now. That was true bravery, he showed. Leading the dragon away from the village like that. His first instinct was always to protect people. To put others' well-being before his own. And now he's gone. Because I sent him to that place against his will. It wasn't against his will. He was ready to do whatever it took to show you he could stand on his own. So that you would finally be free to live your own life. To live my own life? He never could come to terms with the choice I made. What exactly happened? You once told me Theo was the first bearer you ever helped. We grew up in Canva. We were born to one of the great trading houses. And I was chosen to inherit the family business. I had my father's head for figures, you see. Theo... did not. While I studied the art of commerce, he played at soldiers instead. A late bloomer. In more ways than one. For unlike most bearers, it wasn't until his 15th summer that his powers awakened. My parents tried to drive him out of the house and into the care of the constables. But before they could, I took him into mine. Thea told me something else. She clearly admired your devotion to the cause of freeing others like him from slavery. But he said you deserved a better life than this. He wanted to free you from what he called your bonds, just as you freed him from his. I would be lying if I said I had not wondered from time to time. 
How much easier my life might have been if I had allowed Theo to be taken, and devoted myself to the family business instead. But I have never regretted the decision I made. Being with my brother meant more to me than tradition or reputation. I only had to look at him to remind myself of that night and the choice I made and the fact that I would make the same choice again in a heartbeat. He was never a burden. How could he even think that? If anything, I was the one who weighed him down. You weren't Eloise. He said to himself that he had always been grateful to you for saving him. And that he wanted to repay you by letting you live the life you were denied. Neither you nor Theo weighed each other down. You loved one another. You did whatever was necessary to continue living your lives together. And you always would have. You're right. All I ever wanted. All I ever did. It was so we could be together. Oh, Theo. Why did you have to... <laughs> I know Theo wanted me to move on. But I'm staying here at the Crimson Caravans to continue our work. We can make a difference here. We can help people. Save them. I need nothing more from life than that. So I'll carry on doing what we do. Ensuring that goods, people, bearers get where they need to be. Bringing smiles to people's faces just like we always have. And to Theo's. Wherever he is. This is the life I have chosen. The life I will always choose. I've made a choice of my own. To continue helping you however I can. Whenever you need it. Thank you, Clive. Let's go on together then. For Theodore. I love the stories that they're telling through all these side quests. Got the signboard. Sounds like a oh, deck of cards. I've never seen myself cry before. Is Theo really gone then? He's never coming back. That's true, and we have to look after myself, just like Theo looked after us. The Crimson Caravans is my family business now, and I would not exchange it for the world. I brought Theo here to be safe, and I have never looked back since. Okay. I think. Check after we do the stuff here. Better price than that. Last elixir. You only get one. Upon KO, automatically restores all HP, kills limit gauge, and increases 
the tax You only get one of these, so we're gonna have it, but I'm only gonna use it if we happen to It'd die in the yeah, last yeah. battle. Not all the ones that she sees. Is that all? Oh, the stew's awfully thin these days. Not to believe Theo's gone. Every morning I wake, I expect him to be there in his chambers, watering the birds or running the rats. But he is not, and he knows everything I can do all too well. I still don't know what I must do without him. But I can get him back to sleep. My brother and I built all we had for him to be happy. So long as we're still alive together, I must do what I gotta do with him. And I shall honor him in death by carrying on the history of the man. Yeah, that, that one ended sadly. Martha's Rest signboard. The emblem of Martha's Rest, personal fiefdom of the landlady of the Golden Stables, and an island of safety and security in a sea of anything but. It shows a sleeping chocobo, and the guardians and bearers of Rosaria can too rest easy, safe in the knowledge that they have a friend and loved one. The Crimson Caravan signboard. The emblem of the Crimson Caravans, porters of wide renown based in the market town of Baklad, depicts a laden chocobo. After the death of her brother and confidant, Theodore, Eloise chose to continue the work they had begun together, freeing bearers from slavery just as she had freed him so many years before. It'd be cool to see this all, all kitted out. Though, there's one of them I'm not sure if yet. Which means oh you know what it is time to move on with the story but it's also about time to be done with stream so because I got like three minutes I think we'll you new here no no we, we, we talked to you already after No new level here. Next you'd visit. Oh, you have a thing. If I may observe. Your brother is possessed of a rare gift. They do not mean the flames of the phoenix. Words, Clive. His findings on Ultima and the circle of Malleus are worthy of the great Moss himself. Should he should he choose to devote himself to this path, the hazard he could one day become quite the historian. <laughs> not before you and he finish your own story. History can wait. After all? Well that's what it does. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. Not quite enough. What subject shall we consider today? We will go through the Young medicine girl. Oh, she got a name! Name Kihel. Right there. Uh, learned is not human. This guy. Mostly see him in that outfit, and then he finally got his armor. Gold Telemon. Yes. Brienne. Alright, come on. Alright, come on. Sleep. Change of armor. 
do more. Get fucking ass in my experience. I hate this. Get all. Rika. Oh yeah, uh, it was you and friends who Lubor was looking after. Got your entries now. Sultan. Yota. Yeah, there it is. While it is their sworn duty to serve and protect Joshua Rossfield. Her true feelings for him run far deeper. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hi, Cardinal. Wait. Isn't that... Oh, yeah, he's the Duke of Oriflame. That dick. I didn't realize he was the High Cardinal. Bean. Oh, daughter of the Duke of Oriflame. Okay. So it's his daughter. Hilarious. Was medicine girl before that. Travels took her from Dalmechia to Crystalline Dune, where she nearly lost her life when the city was all but destroyed by Bahamut. After the flames died down, she labored to, to mend the wounds of the Hindu townspeople, eventually coming across a collapsed Prince Theon, who she nursed back to health. I'm glad she ended up being important. Ultima. Fuck you. I think this is the only box that isn't filled in. We keep getting new entries for boxes that are already here. We got a few new ones. Our fabled scholar to Valistan history and legend. Whose Moss's writings inspired Harpocrates to pursue his own career as a scholar of all things Valistan. In his later years, he delved into the hidden history of Ultima and the Circle of Malleus. But alas, his findings were denied baseless speculation in certain scholarly circles. As a result, Moss's theories received little widespread notice and were all but stricken from the historical record. Eldermark, which doesn't make sense anymore. We get a picture, I'm sure, when we go there. That is our destination. Silver Beacon Soldier. Continent. Okay, this is what they were talking about. Uh, wait, what the fuck? Oh, mother fucking bot. Uh, I'll get rid of that chat. It doesn't matter because we're about to be done anyway. Um, a vast landmass situated far from Valestian shores. Aside from the most intrepid traders and the odd, particularly curious scholar, few have been known to brave the journey there or back. For which reason, uh, for which reason, the character and customs of its peoples remain a mystery to most. So yeah. There's another continent, very large continent, that is far from the twins, which are Storm and Ash, that we just hear about but never go to. Southern Isles. Oh. Incursion of the Blight destabilized and eventually destroyed the society. Icon. Shattered aspects of Ultima's power slash influence. Oh. Huh. Okay. Young Brandon. Enterprise, her maiden voyage. I like how the picture changes from diagram to in uh, to being built to on the sea. 
the guy in the office has been destroyed. The traitors, the bastards. Got some greens. Mostly chocobo food. Botany in the Deadlands. Yay! Mythos. Which I really wish they would actually pronounce mythos instead of Mithroth. Yeah, they're turning everyone Akashic because they think it's mythos. The Journal of Moss. Joshua's findings. Right, it was thanks to Joshua and the Undying that they were finally able to get this journal. Will. That which separates humans from animals and is given shape by consciousness. A sense of self and a freedom of thought. Even when one is deprived of other freedoms, it is one's will that, d that drives the pursuit of true liberty. To Ultima, however, human will is a sickness that prevents men from taking their proper divine form, that of the Akashic, to blindly serve his own purposes. To this end, he casts primogenesis, transforming much of humanity into his soulless servant. Fellow feeling that binds a person with those they love and who love them. So long as these bonds remain strong, so too does a human's grip upon their will. Ultima cast primogenesis in order to sever these bonds of consciousness, so that humanity might lose their wills and turn Akashic, and his vessel might be infected. Shiva! Hidden tree. Chimeras. Yes, we've seen them. Here we are. Look at those bars at the bottom there. Persons of interest is almost completely full. As is the bestiary. Bestiary. You are always welcome, Clive. Makes it I can ride the Enterprise name. Alright. That'll be it for today. Fast travel tomorrow. Leave it there with uh, boy, Torgal and the Bard. choices, huh? Alright, sure. Ah, oh, no, okay. I'm, I'm gonna flip a coin. Until next time, this is the Pirate King signing off. Have a good day.